Peter. Because our life is destroyed. What don't you understand? There's no money. There's no house. She wants, we're, we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next. Okay. She's fucking other men. What do you want? Calm down. Calm down. But I don't have a fucking life. I don't have somebody who won't fucking listen to me. Calm down. Oh, calm down. It's all a bunch of bullshit. What? What is? Everything she does. Okay, what does she do tonight? Everything. Everything, dude. I, I can't, I'm not going to do this. Because this right here does nothing but fuel her bullshit. I'm not doing this. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. All right, so this, that's an ex-NFL player. Troy Bieberman. Is that how you pronounce it? You, you know his name. That's yeah. good, D. Yeah. From Kim Zolciak. You know the lady name? Yeah. Yeah. He married a lady. What's the lady name? Kim Zolziak. And she's friends with this lady. I think her name is Nene Leakes. They used to be friends. Oh, they used to be friends. Yeah. On the right. housewife show. A woman who completely changed her face. The movie Face Off. You got to watch Nene Leakes. She changed. She, she. I want to. I want to take his face. That's what this. That's what this woman did. The point I'm trying to make is this. I don't know if you really watched that video, but if you did, I want you to know that this is a likely scenario in the United States of America. When you marry a woman and try to build your life with her, this is this is the likely scenario. I, I'm I'm telling you, man. Like studies have been done on marriage. Marriage is a foolish commitment if you have anything going for you, especially if you're healthy. Because if you're healthy and you get married, you're gonna mess around and have a kid pop out of there. And a man, kid. Woman from the Western world is the recipe for disaster. Here's a man who is sitting here going off, and it would seem like he's just upset about nothing, like somebody just yelling. But the man is basically saying, my life is destroyed because he married a loose woman. I'm telling all you guys, this is about to lead to some of the stories that we are about to talk about today on the show. You, Marriage is literally a concept that is played out. You cannot get married in the United States of America. You have to put together a contract with the heifer you have fallen insane for. Pretty much. There is no let's get married. And I'm saying like even in certain instances, the woman might have the most money. Because we remember Britney Spears had to pay that one dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you are ma- if you are married, you have literally entered uh all the shit I work for was your is your shit too contract. Mm. I felt sorry for that man when I saw him yelling and 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 and, <laughs> and, and, and making a fool out of himself. <laughs> there are so many citizens. In the United States of America, when you look up their police history, it's domestic something. I'm talking about people who've never been to jail before. They wind up going to jail over something like domestic. We don't know how to pick them, gentlemen. We don't know how to pick them. We need classes to help men understand. I know you think you're wise. I know you think you're smart but you don't know how to pick them. I'm sure the ladies are just edging to say something now, and I want to make sure I give them their shot, but I am so worried about men who are productive in this country not being productive anymore because they let something they saw on TV and they heard about lead them to a contract with the states. Uh, a marriage license is literally the worst thing you can own in the United States of America. 
a marriage license. It's nothing but the state's piece of the pie into y'all life. Any comments, anybody? I'm sorry. They don't, don't be shy. I, no, Please no, give I, it, give it raw, everybody. I don't even know where to start because I actually hate to even go way back. But I remember when <laughs> they actually got together, and then they started spitting out babies back to back to back. I, I, at that moment, I actually thought she's doing it because at the time the guy had some money right i think he was freshly retired or what have you i looked at it like oh she she she's adding to the storyline because she was on that atlanta housewives mm -hmm. and he was younger and there was so many different elements where i think it seemed more exciting for her role on that show so i kind of already had a bad feeling that it was doomed from the beginning so but i hate what to. was he crying about it's so many dudes having full-on tantrums not he said his life was over he cried baby what well, the here, fuck? well well as far as i do know he was they, having a whole tantrum well, if you work hard for everything you got and then somebody is about to take it um, I could see you losing your mind. At That's some you. point, he thought he he thought she was the woman of his dreams. At like, some point, sure. how we just gonna blame her for that? He she got he got duped by a woman. Like, bruh, you in control of your life till you hand control over. Like, at what point is he gonna be accountable? <laughs> like, you that you too. lose your mind is up to you. Even if a woman loses her mind, that's mm. her fault. You no. can't let these men drive you crazy, and men, you can't let these women drive you crazy. You, they get married, and you know what they need to do? They need to set her up with her own stuff. What do you mean Make set that her contract. Up? I don't Give understand. her a couple businesses. Show her how to get some Instagram body shape wear. Put something in her name so she ain't trying to take all your stuff when it's going to end. Because ain't nobody perfect. Mm. It's definitely going to end. But all this men having tantrums and feeling sorry for him, all the men need to man up. Like, I love what you said. Ain't nobody perfect. It's definitely going to end. He needs to set her up. That's all amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's amazing. That's what people think. You owe them something. That's what I'm saying when it comes to the marriage time. thing. They think that because I married you, you owe me. I, this is what the average woman thinks in America. Uh, in this case, though, <laughs> well, in this case, I really do believe it was um, like he was just super frustrated because if I, if I, in all fairness, I by what I believe is they actually kept working at it he kept wanting to work at it and they were just together supposedly like literally days probably so how many years week. were they married a uh, 15 maybe 12 they got it they got a gang of kids so they're already the kids are already a little older they're not they're not toddlers he said she sleeps with other guys and and not only that <laughs> <laughs> well and not only that i do actually i think i don't know the right age but i think she's even older much older than him too but i don't know i'm just i don't know you I, know about this lady you know how much surgery this, this lady has Oh, had. yeah. No, they all, all, yeah. Oh, yeah. She has had. And apparently she had had a lot of her own businesses. I think she had more than him, actually. Like, when right. he married her, she had a bunch of different things. I don't even think it's that. I think what happened was he got with a woman that was, she was more in control and taking the reign of that relationship. Is by what I see Look, from it. Men need to understand. Take it from a woman. Cheating, Listen to this. Cheating on somebody ain't the end of the world. We get cheated on all the time and we stay. So now she's sleeping with other men and now he having a tantrum. Why y'all in y'all feelings? <laughs> like, get out your feelings, bro. Right, but I'm saying Go back like, and get it. Take the lead. Why he ain't in the lead no more? Mm, she bossing it, him. She must have been bossing him from day one. I think so. He well, sounds very Well, weak. that's what happens when you get married because you have basically given somebody partnership of your assets. It is so a business. You have, mm. you have control. But what I'm saying about the woman is or what you said about women sleeping around first of all once your girl <laughs> cheats on you she's she's nothing no more she's worth nothing i'm saying like to to a court. man who has pride and believe in himself once your girl once you find out for sure your girl has stepped outside of the marriage <laughs> no matter how much you smile with her no matter how much you try to fix it no matter how much you play it off her worth is at zero and I'm saying, like, that might not sound like something that people want to hear, females. But the truth, this is the truth. If you are caught sleeping with other men, if your man has any belief in himself, your worth is at zero. Do He's you just think, walking through the motions after that. Do you think he knew that she was that way before he got with her and just ignored it? 
You I, know I, if your girl for the streets before you get with her. And everybody it, knows that marriage is a business. You I can't even say, say the word yeah. marriage nowadays mm -hmm. and not think that it's a business. So was he just in delirium from beginning? Like her coochie grip air and he just went for it? Like you had to know she was for the streets before yeah, he, he married. Could, he couldn't have been that. He well, could have been that blind. I, I, think, I think the man is just like a lot of men and think that if you nurture something, see, if you get a dog, this is why a dog is, is worth more than a bitch. If you get a dog <laughs> and you take care of it and you get it off the street, mm -hmm. that dog will forever be loyal to you. I know this. I'm talking about you can find <laughs> the worst dog in the world that bite anybody and everything. When you feed a dog and take care of a dog, a dog is like, wow, this person was sent from heaven for me. I got they back forever. But a brawl, a bitch. I'm talking about, I'm not. Get, get the I want you to either a dog bitch or. <laughs> no, I'm talking, talking about a woman a that ain't shit. A female human bitch. I didn't say woman. I said a female human bitch. A bitch mm -hmm. yeah. is something that a lot of lot of lot of people don't want to claim, but their life people. is the definition of a bitch. If you take one of these bitches off the street and feed it, it's feed going it. to kill everything in the house. I'm talking about a pit bull who trained to bite and fight and all that. He will love, he'll be like, this your baby? Oh, come here, little baby. I, <laughs> I'm so glad y'all let me join the family. But if you get a, a bitch, she is going to destroy the man. She going to destroy the kids. She going to destroy everything that is in her reach. And that's what I think people never really say nothing about. Mm. Like, you think, like, like, like Trina said, didn't he know that? <laughs> That's what she they look say. fake. She look if you get with a girl that look fake, she gonna behave fake. She like fake shit. And got like, worse. And, on. Got, and then even got worse as he's with her. She didn't even look like he she kept doing more things. So the guy was, I think he was open. But Corey, that dog gave me the best head I've ever had. Said no man. Until then, women will be better than dogs. Ain't no dog sucking no dick. So you can miss me. I with would that. rather have, <laughs> I'm telling you, I had a dog. And my dog, <laughs> that dog was so always happy when I walked in the house. <laughs> when I walked in the house, that dog, he ain't even had no real tail, really. He was a bulldog. <laughs> Y'all ain't know what I'm talking about. I got about. a bulldog. He shook but his little that dog. Little, he wagged his that butt. That little wiggle from the <laughs> ass. He was like, oh, my God, you old. <laughs> I missed you so much while you was gone. Yeah, you find a How many like times did you call that dog cell phone? Bitches say hi when I walk Oh, <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Oh, that's sad. I, 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 and I noticed that. I be like, oh, okay. <laughs> I see what's happening. So, yeah. fellas out there, if you lonely, I ain't going to lie. The dog can't give you head. The dog might report you if you try to put your dick in oh, his mouth. Oh, please don't. Oh, God. I'm sorry to bite you. That I'm dog will bite that Oscar Mayer track that if you want to. There's a way <laughs> to have relations with women, but you can't fall in love with hoes. You can't. It's like jumping into a burning pit of fire. <laughs> that's that's how God have it out of here. If you, oh, you want that? Okay, go get it. I dare you. If you get it, you're going to be like that man. Look at them girls. Them girls look fake. They did. They changed their whole look. They're, her daughters, oh, my God. Oh, you, my didn't God. Didn't I say that? The, I didn't even know that. But didn't I say not only is she going to destroy the man, she destroyed her well, children. Well, those are her. Look at them. They're. And that's those her choice. destroyed girls. That's those the choice two, he made. Right, he those are the two older daughters she had when he met her. They were already older, like like ten. I don't care where them girls came from. They ain't even got to be her biological kids. They ain't his. But They're what are you they saying? around her, they will be destroyed. They already. That's too far gone. I, I yeah, agree with are. you. They I are. agree with mm -hmm. you. I agree with you one hundred percent. What do you think this man was thinking? If all of us can see it, how come he didn't see it? Exactly. No, you see the end result. I'm talking about. Before you get with a woman, you must understand it is that a woman. setup most of the time. It's a setup most of the time for you to get got later on in life. 
Some women believe in love. Y- man, y'all got to just stop. He probably wanted the trophy. It ain't about the trophy, man. Mm-hmm. You can get with a good girl and then you moving her to the side, treating her like crap because you got this arm candy. Like, figure it out. Y'all stop blaming us for y'all decisions. He picked her. He was like, will you marry me? I'm sure she didn't ask him. And she was, okay. already, she was already known as a gold digger because she was with some man that nobody ever saw and she called him daddy or papa, big papa. And nobody ever knew who he was, but that's who was doling out the money. Douglas Muhammad said she probably put nobody on Nobody ever show. found out who it was, so look, but she used to do Trina, that. Trina, I want to ask you something because I have I've been around the block a few times and I want to ask you a question. I would never ask you about you so i want to ask you do you know a bitch worth a dime <laughs> are you serious because whoever you say even if you say you're go ahead okay shit, i'm worth something i don't oh, give a damn what nobody oh, say. Already knew what you the hell? say you ain't put like me that. in the fucking hot seat I already put knew me that. in the hot seat I bruh Look, I know my worth. That's why my phone dries fuck. <laughs> when you look, know your worth your phone be dry. let me tell you something you might well stop. Don't ask no woman if she worth something. You gotta ask her. Better know it. And you saw how she avoided it. She had to go. I'm good. Do That's avoiding know, it. Do you know a bitch worth a dime? Not a bitch. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Not a bitch. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Like we know that. Okay. <laughs> no. So, and some women choose that life, and they're good at it. So let's give shout out to them for the art. All the bitches that's pulling fast ones on these men, great job. You're doing what you set out to do. But they do make it harder for those that they destroy don't the world. do that. Yeah, they, do, they make it tougher and on them. And men that are picking they them are destroy the world. Though. I know they're empowered to destroy the world. I get that. Because they, they have no power. To the men, give it to them. No, no, they have no power. The, the, the wicked people who are in charge of the world mm-hmm. are aware of how things go. So they empower Skanches. 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 Skanches who ain't never done nothing, ain't never made nobody rich, ain't never did nothing but destroyed her family. They empower a skanch <laughs> to have the money in the hood. Think about it. The money in the hood is normally through some court system in the States given to a skanch who was giving it to Chanel and Gucci. I'm just saying, I don't, I'm, I'm saying, like, I heard you say, you, I mean, know, whether you I, don't know a bitch that ain't shit. So let me ask you a question. If, Do you know some women that you can hold up in the air and be proud of? I'm asking you, like, honestly. Yeah, honestly, mm-hmm. I, I know a bunch. I, I used to be a hairstylist in the beauty industry. I know some intelligent, intelligent women out here. Real talk, I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? I know some women that cook, that take care of their kids, that's loyal to their man, that encourage their man. Like you say, you saying that like you know more than five. I do. I know more than five. I know more than well, five. Well, you grew up in Detroit. Yes. And you saying you know more than five women that do right by their family? Everyone I thought of was from the D. I ain't See? gonna lie. See? Yeah. Shout out to Level K Salon. Yes. Hey. Yes. <laughs> and the BFS crew. I know all of them. I talk, Listen, it's a rare find. Let me tell you something, man. Let me give y'all some advice. If all she, if she, all she give wants, you some advice. <laughs> if all she wants is purses and shoes and material things, light bulb. Hello. Light bulb. She yeah. should want some other things that are not materialistic. Mm-hmm. You can't pay no bills with a purse. You can't start no business with a purse. Mm. Somebody said intelligent doesn't mean she a good woman, but I already knew that. I just, I just, I just really am amazed that I have a woman in my presence who's from <laughs> Detroit who can say she knows more than five stand-up women that are there for their family. I'm not just talking about their kids. Yeah. I'm talking about they man. I'm talking about, and let me know if these Everybody, requirements are too high. You there for your man? You there for your kids? and you conduct yourself with decency. You know more than five women like that? I know more than five women like that. Wow, that Period. Is, uh, you are blessed. And what do the men do? Run over that kind of woman. Underappreciate her. Run her into the ground. Send her to work every day. Don't tell her she look beautiful. Don't invite her to go exercise. Got a side chick. Like, these women be out here loyal, raising kids. Going yeah, you to know work. more than five of them. More than five. Pulling in their whole house income. Yes, I do. Yes, you, I do. You, you hear Stay my sister there. 
said she <laughs> know more than five stand-up women from Detroit who take care of their family, I mean, they man, their kids, and Themselves. are decent people. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is that is quite a statement. I'm I'm not knocking it. I just don't know a lot of them. I I see a lot of women who think they're decent, and then soon as you go on their Facebook, <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> I'm talking about soon as you go on. I see bitches say digital creator, woman of God. Soon as you look <laughs> at their photo. Or they got, they you're true. right. I'm sorry. I, I know gotta, them can I, too. I yeah, I can't. Yeah, that, you don't even have to go past five photos. Yeah, that turned me off. I'm telling Hypocrite. you. Exactly. Digital creator, yeah. woman Ooh. of God. I don't like those. When you see that, yep, and they got their eyes. Uh, uh, Bussing like, down like, for the game. what happened there? Do you know that the iPhone and these new phones basically document your life? So later in life, when you slow down and run out of options, you cannot say you was a woman of decency. Mm. Your Instagram and Facebook is the proof of who you are. The government knows who you are. They got the pictures right there. Mm. I know, and I'm just saying the pictures. Yeah, you could be proven a hypocrite immediately based on the stuff you post. My granny say, if it ain't for sale, take the sign down. We A lot of women out here don't even want to be objectified, but they out here looking like objects. Like, cut it I out. I know a girl went in a bar. But a guy can't see Over that. there on Manchester. I ain't going to even say the name of the bar. <laughs> and the girl was complaining about how these dudes was in her face trying to talk to her. And the girls was coming over there. I am with him. Like trying to start a fight with them. I am with him. He invited me up here. I don't know what he over here talking to you for. Wow. And the girl who I know was saying that was complaining about how everybody was acting. And I said to her, do you realize you're in the lion's den? Or the wolf's den? Whatever you want to yeah. call it. Yeah. The wolf's den is full of dead animals and, <laughs> and prey that they didn't they didn't they didn't ate and mangled. If you I look don't like think a piece of meat. There's a lot of women who know what decency is. I'm I'm not talking about women. I love women. I'm gonna always use women the way they're supposed to be used. <laughs> and we're gonna use men the way they're supposed to be used. Okay, I would love to hear your definition of that. 